Okay, so we'll start. Who are you? I'm Chuck De Silva. Chuck De Silva. I'm a staff software engineer in uh, SSG. That okay. stands for Software Solutions Group. At Intel. At Intel. And you just got done doing a presentation at the Game Developers Conference, GDC, about Intel graphics, right? Yes. Do you want to go over a couple of the high points of that, the most important things you think people would want sure. to know about it? So some of the tips that, that I went and talked about were uh, were are, are, are actually in, in our graphics so, uh, X3000 uh, software developer's guide. So if users want to know those tips, they can actually refer to that document. Okay, and that's available online on, on Intel Software Network? Intel Software Network. Which is intel.com slash software. Or they can just Google X3000 software developer's guide and they'll, they'll find it. I'm sure they'll find it that way. So one of the questions that I asked during the session was one that, that I get a lot. Um, I work for Intel Software Network and I'm also in the kind of the tablet PC ultra mobile PC community. And there's a lot of questions from people about um, WDDM driver support uh, for the 910 and 915 chipsets, which are used in a lot of the uh, really small, really low power ultra mobile devices like right. the UMPCs. And people wonder, you know, why isn't or why hasn't Intel released a WDDM compliant driver for Windows Vista for those devices so they can do things like run Aero Glass, the, the fancy user interface. Sure. So the main the main reason for that is because 915 was actually its hardware spec was designed prior to the requirements for Vista. So um, 915, because it's a, although it supports Pixel Shader 2.0, uh, many people get the misconception that it can be it can have a WDDM driver and become completely Vista compliant. It can't because there is no hardware scheduler in in, in the 915 hardware. So there's a hard, the hardware feature, the hardware scheduler, is part of the WDDM spec, and yes. 915 doesn't have it because it came out before that spec existed. That's right. So that's the final word on that, right? That's the final word. So on people that. should not really hold out hope that Intel is just being stingy or holding back on a driver. Yeah, we or anything. do have an XP driver that you can get that you can use, but it's not going to be completely WDDM compliant. It won't have right. all the nifty air glass features. So, right. Um, unfortunately, yeah, it's because the, the Vista spec came out later than than the, than the hardware design was designed. So we'll just have to hold out hope for second generation ultra mobile PCs with maybe 945 or 965 in them or something yes. that's, that's capable of doing aero glass. That's right. Do you have any other websites or anything you want to plug before we end? Uh, always go to our forum if you have any development concerns, uh, softwareforums.intel.com. There's an integrated graphics uh, section there on the forum that you can uh, post questions and we'll try to answer you as soon as possible. Yeah, it definitely. If you have any questions about Intel graphics or drivers or anything like that, hit the forums. If you can't find an answer there, contact somebody there. Um, there's, you know, the, the, there's a, a manager, a kind of a host for every forum. We'll get you in touch with the right people. Yep. We're, we're very accessible, and uh, we're here to help. Thank you very much, Chuck. Sure, you bet. Have fun at the rest of GDC. Thank you.